to drop in and just in time for a song. Leaning down the big gate towards the night's a gate on the light as it smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your human despair. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're the yin to my yang, can't you see? What is up all you comic book fans of comic book villain coming to you with another comic book haul. This is my 147th comic book haul for December 5th, 2018. Hopefully hopefully everybody makes it out to the local LCSs and gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. Um, went to two locations today. Let me put Mr. Joker back. <coughs> went to my two regular spots as usual. Here is the brown paper bag right there. And then of course... And the teal bag right there, of course. Tons of great books came out this week. And the reason I know is because I got a bunch of points. That goes right look at all. There are a lot of books today. Just to put it that way. A lot of books. A lot of books. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this. Bunch of great books came out today. And this one right here. This is Marvel Knights 20th. Number three. This is a connecting cover. Uh, who's doing these covers? Is it? Uh, let's see. Cover artist. Gra uh, graphic. Is it? Is it Kara Andrews? Uh, I forgot who did this cover anyway. But that is Marvel 20th. Marvel Knights 20th came out today. And then, oh, here's a bunch of great ones right here came out. I'm getting all of these. I think there's only a six-part series, I think. RT meets Batman 66. This is the A cover. Love that A cover right there. And who moved Mr. Batman up? This, I believe, is the D cover. Where they're both tied up, hanging over a barrel. And then this one right here. And I pre-ordered another one of these from uh, another a website that that I had to order some books from. So I went ahead and pre-ordered one of these just in case they they ran out of these. Because look at this cover, the original Joker right there. Look, they even they even drew a little bit of uh, if y'all are familiar with this old Batman, how the guy who played the Joker, they always just colored in, just colored his mustache white, so they made it look like he still had his mustache under the white paint. That is an iconic, iconic Joker right there. So I wanted to make sure that I did get that cover. So I picked up, like I said, I had to pre-order uh, from a website because nobody was getting them here. Uh, the Rags, number one, uh, second printing came out this week. And uh, and it's even a shorter print than the, the first one. So I pre-ordered two copies of that. I ordered the Source, number one. Uh, came out, uh, second printing came out today as well. I pre-ordered that as well. So I went ahead and threw that on there just to make sure because I didn't know if the LCS was going to have, have it or not. All right, let's see. Which one is this one? All righty. Batman the Max Arkham Dreams. This is uh, A cover by Sam Keith. Is this, yep, this is the B cover by Sam Keith. And then this is an incentive, but like I said, my guy there, I guess since he throws these in every once in a while, like I said, uh, since this is, I think, a 1 in 7, a 1 in 10 incentive cover by, uh, what the hell was his name? Yeah, it's Retailer Incentive Cover by Gabriel Rodriguez. I think it was a 1 in 10. So, like I said, he puts those in there because he knows I do drop a lot of money at his place. And he'll throw them in there. Man, I got a bunch of books. Hold on, let me move some of these books, guys. Ugh. 
um, he'll let me have them at cover price because the, the barcode does ring up at cover price. So uh, the way they the way they mark them up is you know they put them in a they put them in a poly bag and board, and of course then they put the the price on them with the little price sticker. So that's how they when you go to the counter they ring them up at whatever nine ninety nine ten ninety nine whatever like that. But if they just do a they just scan the barcode. They come up three ninety nine. So, like I said, if he puts it in my pal like that, when I go up to the counter, man, I was gonna grab another one of these because this he pulled this one. Um, okay, I'm gonna read the story and see what what it, uh, how it goes. But I was gonna grab one just for the cover. This is Black Eye Devil Devil Die, number one. Um, I did have him pull me one cover, and when I got to to the the shop in the morning, I said I'll pull me another one. But there was uh, there was no more on, on the on the shelf so oh here's another one that i've been digging to this is a real good one and this is a nice looking cover right here um this was uh, of course i like the story this is a uh, border town number four death blooms this has been a good story so far been pretty cool the chupacabra right there so but that cover was so uh oh uh oh moving everything around sorry about that guys that one was so nice. I had to grab two covers. Well, I had them pull me two covers. Sorry, because I really don't grab none of these. I really don't grab none of them. I have them. They pull. They pull my order for me now over there. So this has been very good too. This one is by Scotty Young. Bully Wars number four came on. This is the Scotty Young cover. Like I said, his art has been growing on me. I've been digging his art, so I've been trying to pick up. I should have picked up the 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 Hulk Scotty Young cover, but I didn't. Oh, and, I, and I passed it up. I should I should have just grabbed it. it. It just looked a little too plain to me. But then now I think about it, I should have just picked it up anyway. But the Curse of Brimstone number nine. This is, has been a awesome story too. Guest starring Doctor Fate. This has been real good. Like I said, I've been on this since the first issue. Still on it. So let's see how where that goes. I'm not too too sure how long that run is going to go. But I've been enjoying it. So I'm going to keep picking it up. This is just a cover grab right here because I don't get Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool number seven. This is one of the Christmas. They, he had two Christmas covers. The A cover where he was trying to look like he was on Santa's sleigh about to cut his head off or something like that. But I thought this cover looked a lot better. So, of course, I got that cover. Well, I had him pull me that cover. And then this was strictly because I don't get Deathstroke. Um, this is strictly cover buys right now. But look at that cover. Couldn't leave that put cover there. So, of course, had them pull me that one. And then everybody was getting this one, of course. That one, it was one sick cover. So, on that one right there, I had them pull me two of the Matinas. That is an awesome cover right there. And then this one right here. This is, I believe this is a one shot. I didn't know if it was going to be like a three or four part. But it's apparently it's a one shot. The best defense, Immortal Hawk. This is the Defenders cover, or something like that. Oh, well, it's like the original Hulk that Scott, uh, that, uh, that, what's his name used to draw? Um, King Kirby. Wow, that looks cool. Can't wait to read that. That's supposed to be, like I said, a, a one shot. And this one right here is, was a new one that came out. Let me see which one is the first. This is the first. This is the A cover. This is die number one. Heard a lot of good things about this. Um, I saw it, of course, in the previous magazine like two months ago. And I didn't think nothing of it. I wasn't going to get it. But then this past couple of weeks, I saw people talking about it and their spec videos and stuff like that. So I ended up picking up that one, of course. And then there is the B cover right there. Those are the only two covers that were available for it this week. And then this one, this one, I wish this one came out a little bit faster. This is Doomsday Clock. I didn't really like the the B cover, so I picked up the A cover only on this one. Can't wait to read that one. You know that's only a twelve part series, right? Twelve, right? Yep, twelve part series. We're on number eight of twelve. Four more issues, and then of course, not that everybody was grabbing this one, but a lot of people did grab this one. Had them pull me this. This is the Shazam number one, saving the world. So. I remember when I was younger, I used to watch the show Shazam. So, kind of interested to see how that book goes. Of course, I got that one. And then, that sweet looking B cover right there. As well. Alright, let me move 
move these out of the way real quick. All right, let's see which one is next. All right, okay. This one I have been joined to. This one is a good one too. This is United States versus Murder Inc. God, I love that cover. It's got the American flag in the scope. That'd be awesome if your enemy could see the American flag when they're about to get popped in the head from a thousand yards out. And all they can see is your scope with the American flag in it. Uh oh, don't come over here. I'll let you let us <laughs> Uh oh, yeah, I can't show that. Oh shit. <laughs> that was kind of a there was a bunch of sexual content in that and unnaturals number five issue came out this is the b cover it's in a black it's in a it's in a cover uh blank oh, okay let's see what do they show i'm not well they kind of show her nipple yeah so i'm not going to show it i don't want nobody to get offended but yeah they kind of show her nipple on that so i'm just going to leave it like that that is the B cover right there. Okay, Venom number nine came out today right here. Um, Venom is starting to look like a dog. He's starting to look like a damn pit bull. Look at that. See, here's his face. Here's his muzzle. And then there's his ear. Like a little short ear. Now they cut the pit bull. They snap his ears. He does, To me, it doesn't look like Venom's supposed to look like Spider-Man. Let me see. Okay, well, go ahead and put that one there. Oh, here's a new one that came out right here. This is, oh, that's the, I just like this cover. So I picked it up, I picked up the A, and I guess that's the B cover. This is X-Men number one, the Exterminated. This is the A cover right here. Can't wait to see where that goes. See how that is. And right now they're doing a, what is it? A Fantastic Four Venom, not Venom, Fantastic Four Villains Covers. This is that's what that is. This is a X Men exterminated. This is the villains cover. X, let's see, Fantastic Four villains. And I was gonna pick them up because, like I said, you know, I pick up all those extra, but I didn't. I'm not going to. I just picked up that one because I did like that cover, so I picked up that one. Oh, here's another one that see how this is gonna to me. I guess this one might be a hit and miss. This one right here is Martian Manhunter. From Tom King, right here. This is the A cover. Okay, we just see where this goes as well. How this story ends up. Oh wow, look at that! Some cool interior art is nice. Nice bloody. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then that's the A cover, and of course that really nice looking um, Joshua Middleton cover. Such a nice cover. You know how the villain does it. Got two covers of that one. And then, of course, this is another one that's strictly a cover by because I don't get the Red the red Hood Outlaw. This is a Putri cover right here. That is the B cover for Red Hood Outlaw. That is number 29. Issue number 29 came out. Did this one come out today? I think that Gumbars will come out next week. This is, this is the back of the book, but... I think it came out. I think it comes out next week. I'm not too, too sure. But anyway, this is, uh, I guess if you want to call it volume two or whatever. Actually, it says, no, this is number three. Hillbilly Red Eye Witchy, uh, Witchery from Beyond. This is three of four. Um, I love the Hillbilly, the first uh, issue, the first series, first uh, issue, first volume, whatever you want to call it. And this is from Abatross Funny Books, written. And drawn, I believe, by Eric Powell. And this one right here, this is an awesome, awesome cover. I think there's supposed to be a reveal in this one today. This is the Immortal Hulk, number 10. I think there's supposed to be a reveal in here to this, this one somewhere else. 
what do you think New Mexico not yet so Jackie, Judy, can you see it? Yeah, I know there's supposed to be some type of reveal, and I can't wait to read that to see who who or what it is. Let me see. Sorry about that, guys. I know I'm moving the camera everywhere. And then this one was the the Conan cover, so I picked up the Conan cover. That's another thing they're doing. They're doing the, uh, Conan covers as well, but I, I'm not really picking that up. I just picked them up because it is the Immortal Hulk, and I, did, I do like the Immortal Hulk. And this one, I think this is this is six, yeah, six issue miniseries. This is number five, Injustice versus Masters of the Universe. It's been a pretty good storyline so far, so really enjoying it. So that's pretty good right there. Uh oh, I left these there. I need to move these. That goes right there. That goes there. Alrighty. And of course, this is Justice League number 13. Nice looking cover. I forgot who did this cover. Who did the variant cover? Uh, that Maury, Tom Maury and March did the cover. Gilbia March did the A cover and then Jolly did the B cover. Jolly J A E and then Lee believe it the B cover of course and then this is the A cover. Sweet looking cover look at that Joker. Sweet. This is the Justice League right there. Yep. <laughs> and then the Joker had to pick up two of them covers right there. That is the original comic book villain right there, the Joker. Uh, oh, this is the other one that I ordered. I did order from that other when I placed the order for the other books. I did order the B cover with the when I placed my order, but I did pick up two of these, uh, the Freeze number one, also from Image, a new one from Image. Can't wait to see what this one's about. Uh, trying to open up to the first page. Nice looking cover. I got some good clean copies right there. Black covers, no spine ticks. So, really happy about that. And then here is the Green Lantern. Number two. Looks like he's getting mad at that. Whatever. Looks like a damn spider. It's getting after him. And then, of course, the awesome Matina cover. I don't know about you, but look. To me, look at that. That looks like a right foot. See how it looks like it curves this way? It should be curving this way. Like the foot should indent this way. I'm no artist, but that looks like it's a damn right foot to me. So he, this Green Lantern, he's got two right feet on him. Of course, that is a Matina cover, so I picked up two of them. So now I, I got four right-footed Green Lanterns. Or two right-footed Green Lanterns. And here is another one right here. I've been joined to hack all the hack and slash runs that have been coming out. Hack and slash Vampirella, hack and slash. Uh, what's the other one? Hack and slash. I don't know, but there's about three or four of them that are out right now. And then, of course, this one right here, hack and slash versus chaos. This, this one looks pretty cool. I like this one. It's got evil Ernie in there. Can't wait to read this one. Boom, man. She looks like the female Negan. Oh, look at that picture. Look like Glenn got his head smashed right there by the female Negan. Yeah. So that is Hack and Slash number one right there. That is the A cover. And look at that sweet B cover right there. They did have a virgin cover of both of these. No, both. I think of both of these. But this one. That was another cover that I think... Uh, I know I saw it on... Uh-oh. There's Evil Ernie. My buddy Evil Ernie. Yeah, I can't wait to get into that book right there. But anyway, 
Like I said, really do enjoy the hack and slash titles. Alrighty, let me move these. Ton of books a day, like I said. This will be the last two from this place. This is Harley Quinn number 55. Of course, I get the Harley Quinn. And I didn't get the show cover this week. I just got the Christmas one. Like I said, I really do. I enjoy Christmas. I love Christmas time. So, all the other. And here's the other one that everybody was talking about. Must get, must buy. Was the uh, Marvel Studios Avengers Prelude. So, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about stuff that's supposed to be in this book. Should be coming out in a movie or... Or Thanos is supposed to have a new weapon or some shit like that. So, got to read it for myself and find out. See what he has. Maybe his new weapon is... He's got the little blue pills. He's going to have the biggest heart on in the universe. And butt chuck everybody. Rip their bungholes apart. See? Matter of fact, just speaking right now. See? There's a blue pill right there. It's blue. He's about to pop it. As soon as he pops, he's gonna have a three hour hard on. <laughs> so <laughs> let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and move those and get you to my other the little what? The little brown bag. The little brown bag. There's the receipt right there. I need that receipt. What happened to my other receipt? <clears throat> well, I have to find it here in a bit. Oh yeah, I picked up these over there. I love these true believers. I always pick them up. I can't wait till next month. I think next month's True Believers are going to be awesome. That's uh, True Believers Fantastic Four featuring the Mad Thinker. This is True Believers Fantastic Four right here as well. I just love these look old old covers. You know, these are books that mo more than likely I would never probably end up owning uh, due to price. Plus, they're so old. But man, like I tell you, man, these yellows and reds, the way they did it back then. Kirby was the man. Um, unless I hit the lotto. And then I'll be buying all of them damn books. Alright, and then here's another one. Of course, I wish I could have got the black and white one. But he didn't order ten books in to get the black and white. So, Road of the Dead. Number two came out today. First one was really good. I really enjoyed this one too. This one was good, so... And of course, I love the way these books feel. Oh, Road of the Dead 3. Look at that. Nice cover. Big old 18-wheeler. Can't wait for that one. Hopefully, hopefully, maybe next time he'll get enough so I can get the black and white one. And then this is the B cover. Look at that. He's got him on. He's on a Harley or a motorcycle, actually. And he's got him in chains. Like, uh, what you would call it was... Used to walk a Michonne. Highway to hell. Number two. This is a good book right here. So, really enjoyed that one. And then, of course, then, my Walking Dead. This is another one you get every month when it comes out. Walking Dead, the Power Keg. Uh, Walking Dead number 186. Can't wait to get into that one. Yes, ma'am. And then, of course, still going with the, with the Sinkovich. Stinkovich is what I call him. With the Sinkovich. This is the Negan cover. Looks nothing like fucking Negan, but that's a cover right there. So. But, what was I going to say? Man, if y'all not on, that's another thing too. If y'all not on Spawn, my goodness, these next couple of covers. And I think, what was it, 92, 98? 298 or 297? There's going to be a new Violator. Man, and that cover looks sick y'all need to jump on that i already like i said i i mean i'm subscribed to that so i get those pulled anyway for me but if y'all don't have them man that cover is sick that one if you haven't seen it yet uh let me see what else do i got do i have anything else coming in right now uh, i don't think i have anything coming in uh and i always say that then something ends up coming in right <laughs> Let me see, let me see. Alright, let me see. Let me get you a cover of the week. I gotta get you a cover of the week. Let me see. Let's see what's gonna be the villain's cover of the week. 
Ooh. You know what? This has got to be my cover of the week right here. Just because of who it is on the cover. That's the original, the original comic book villain right there. That's going to be my cover of the week. The Justice League number 13. Legion of Doom. With the Joker on that cover. There it is right there. Look at that Joker cover right there. Sweet. Sweet right there. Alrighty guys, that is my 147th comic book haul for 12 December 5th, 2018. Like I said, hopefully everybody makes out to local LCSs and gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. Um, I have still have about three or four, maybe five books on order still that they're not getting released yet. So hopefully soon I'll be getting those in. And then of course, then that order that I, I know I'll be getting that in sometime, probably next Tuesday or Wednesday, hoping sooner. But the, the five, six books that I ordered, remember I told you it's going to be, this going to be the rags, second print number one, source number one, reprint. And then something else. And I didn't get the source number two today because none of my shops here in town had it. And then I should have ordered it when I ordered those other books and I didn't because I figured I could have picked it up. But I didn't want to wait for it. And I made a big mistake because nobody had it in town. Uh, I believe the first location I went to probably had it, but they only had it for subs. And I didn't have enough to go around. And I called another three locations and nobody had it. Nobody brought it in. So now I'm going to have to find number two. I'm going to have to go out and find number two either on eBay or or something. I don't know. But, uh, yep, I got I screwed myself on that one. I was about to say I got screwed, but no, I screwed myself on that one. Should have just ordered it. All righty, guys. Well, like I said, that's my video for December 5th, 2018. And I'll come with back with y'all with another video when I get something in to show. All right, comic book video now. Laters.